The year was 1966. The country was at war. The civil rights movement was reaching a fever pitch, and the Texas Western College Miners would win the national championship. It was also the year that St. Raphael Church was established as a mission of St. Pius X, after a census revealed that 800 Catholic families were living in East El Paso. The first church, now the Parish Hall, was constructed that year, and on August 15, 1967, the mission was declared a parish by Bishop Sidney Metzger. Over the next decade, the need for a bigger church was deemed necessary to accommodate the growing number of families, and on December 23, 1979, Bishop Raimundo Peña dedicated the new St. Raphael Catholic Church to serve the needs of all its parishioners. St. Raphael School, which also had its beginnings 50 years ago, has grown into one of the premier Catholic schools in the diocese, forming future generations of leaders grounded in the gospel message. Throughout the generations, the vision of our pastors and ministry leaders have led us to a better understanding of our faith and what it means to believe. It's always been my church, and I love San Rafael. Can you imagine all those families having a place to worship? Even there was a hall, and we had chairs, and we had a nail on the floor, but it was wonderful. For many years, I, I took communion from here to the, to the hospital. At 95, when I couldn't read anymore or go over the list that they give me of the patients that you take communion to, I had to stop. And that was a very, very hard thing to do. I felt like I was doing it for me because I felt so satisfied and so happy. And I will do it as much as I can until my Lord calls me. And it won't be long because I'm already a hundred years old. And I, 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 don't, I don't expect to live forever. The heart of the parish is a school. If you wanted something done, you had to lean into the school to have it done quickly and efficiently because the personnel, and I'm talking about the children's parents that were in the school, were the ones that you leaned on for the expertise. We had a, a big building that was just constructed. And the biggest comp accomplishment was to push the school. We were the biggest school in the Catholic school system. I, uh, I don't know what it is now, but it was about 480 students. We were at maximum. I'll tell you what I loved was serving the people and taking care of their needs. I enjoyed that very, very much. Do I miss that? Yes, I do, but I get a lot of phone calls. So that's the way it goes. My grandparents actually, they moved from St. Pius to St. Raphael's when it was built. And so they've been coming since it was here. And from there, my mom came, my dad came, they were married in the church. And then when I was born, obviously, I was baptized. I got all my sacraments here. And when I received my con the sacrament of confirmation, I just felt called to go back and give back everything I have been given. The vision really is to get, uh, there's a lot of youth here in our parish. And actually, the youth is the heart of the parish. Um, there's so many youth that they don't really know that there are things for them to come here and it's designed specifically for them and to have something that it's only for you is just amazing so our vision really is to have as many youth come to be able to come and experience community through the church through St. Raphael's and have them come and definitely a lot more young adults we would love for any young adults to come and help us with children's ministry and edge and life team because they're the ones who lead it, and by having the examples of our young adults leading, then these teens, these middle schoolers and children, they're going to want to lead when they're older. Young people are, are thirsting for the truth. They're thirsting for, for someone to tell them what's right. They're thirsting for, um, for love, and you can't love what you don't know. And within the young adult ministry, we teach them who is God, and. Um, what is the church and and really the more that you know about the church the more that you know about the faith the greater your capacity and your ability to love and I think it's important to to understand that the two go hand in hand and so that's where the young adult faith formation comes in that to love God you have to know who he is over the past 50 years St. Raphael has had such a rich tradition 
Uh, people have had so many important life experiences here, whether it was baptisms or weddings or funerals. And I think it's important that we show the young adults that um, it's important to be um, a member of the parish, to be an active member of the community, and to continue that rich tradition throughout the rest of their lives. When I heard that I was coming here, I was happy. Uh, and at the same time, of course, nervous to come into a new community. But right away, people are so welcoming in this community that I felt uh, at home. I felt accepted in the community. And now uh, I feel that I'm part of this community being the pastor of the parish. We have a parish council that also assists me in visioning uh, how we could take the parish to the next level, how we can better the ministries that exist here, how we can better evangelize in this community, how we can uh, create new ways of which we can proclaim the good news to people. Our theme of Remember Worship, believe we, we look back at the great things that uh, priests, monsignors have done before me here in the parish, uh, many parishioners and members of this community that have literally raised this church from the ground up. And here we are uh, being part of that and carrying it forward. So I think it's, it's an exciting time to be part of this parish. The mission of St. Raphael Catholic Church, guided by the Holy Spirit, has always been to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ and take its parishioners and their families on a spiritual journey centered on the Eucharist. St. Raphael Parish. We remember, we worship, we believe.